Hi everybody, Ryan Bellage with Golf News Now. We're here back with another review for you today. And today we are talking about a golf bag. Specifically, a $388 golf bag from Stitch Golf is one you've probably seen people carrying at your local golf course, your country club, resort that you visited. And you probably thought, hey, it's a really cool golf bag. I wonder if I should get it and splurge on it. And that is the SL2 bag from Stitch. And so we're going to do a review of it for you today. So we've kind of had this market of higher end minimalist style golf bags that have become a thing in really the last I'll say four or five years and there are a couple of companies uh, three that really immediately come to mind and there are others that are even more expensive that are in this space and some do leather and some do some version of leather like material and some do lightweight some do stands some do no stands some do cart bags or hybrid bags too they're all kind of all over the map but stitches thing is a minimalist design that is lightweight, functions well, and is geared toward the walking golfer. That is what the SL2 is built as. It's kind of the ultimate walking golfer's bag. And so you have to view it through that lens. You have to think about what the bag is meant to do versus what you want it to do. And that's a little bit of a conundrum for me because to be truthful, I kind of carry a lot of crap in my bag. Sometimes I'll bring a speaker to play uh, if I'm you know, you're walking on a cart or on a cart, uh, and then loading up the bag on the cart. So I might need some some room for that. I guess I could put that elsewhere. Uh, sometimes I bring a good number of golf balls with me. Maybe I bring more than a couple of sleeves, especially if I'm playing in like a scramble where you, know, you just might lose golf balls sometimes, or just trying to mess around and just want some balls that you know that you can lose and you're willing to lose on a tougher golf course, things like that. The, the SL2 really isn't designed to carry tons of crap. It's meant to look really good, be lightweight, and, and do the performance aspect of the bag really well. It's not meant to be a locker. And so when I first started thinking about doing this review, it's like, well, it doesn't really do what I want it to do in terms of carrying everything. Should I knock it for that? I don't think that's true. I don't I don't have to knock the bag just because it, it doesn't carry all the crap that I want in it. But it does do a very capable job of what it sets out to do, which is to be a great bag for walking golfers. It's a four-pound bag. It's 64 ounces. That's a lightweight bag by almost any measure. There's some bags that are lighter. I've seen Sun Mountain bags that are in the threes. But this is a full-size bag with four full-length dividers, nicely divided up with really good trimmings, easy to pick up with a handle, easy to get your clubs in and out, easy to carry with the provided one or two strap strap, you know, handle uh, to carry your bag. And it carries just enough stuff for the walking golfer that needs to be able to be focused on walking. Those are good things. So let's dig into that a little bit more. So we've got two different size pockets on the SL2 bag. You've got your kind of traditional, looking at the bag, left side pocket, not quite as big, and it, it's kind of there to carry maybe a water bottle, maybe not a huge water bottle, but a, a good size water bottle, maybe a scorecard, maybe a couple of sleeves of balls, something like that. It's got a drink pocket on the outside of it, so you can put, a, again, bottle of water, Coke, uh, I don't know, something like, whatever it is that you drink, a bottle of beer, can of beer, while you're walking, does that just fine. And then on the other side, you've got what they call a full length pocket. I wouldn't say it's full length, I'd say it's three quarters to 80% length of the bag, but there's also a lot of wasted space in those types of bag pockets. So it's really just a nomenclature difference. But from a usability standpoint, it's a little bit longer and would hold more stuff. So it might hold your, your quarter zip or your rain jacket. Uh, it might hold a, a uh, instead of a couple sleeves of balls, it holds a box of balls. Or maybe it holds kind of the, the pouch that you bring that has your divot repair tools or, or things like that. A, a brush. Those types of accessories that are a little bit longer that don't just neatly fit into the, the smaller bag. Uh, the, the smaller portion of the bag. And so it, it doesn't offer vast amounts of space. But again, that's not the point. If you want a bag with vast amounts of space, it's not going to have the same design aesthetic that Stitch has. And that's kind of one of the big draws of this bag. 
I've had tons of people come up to me the times I've used this bag go, where'd you get that? Who makes that bag? It's really cool. It looks great. It just looks different. And if you're into that kind of thing, if you're into having people talk to you, random strangers, about how great your golf bag looks, this is a winner. It's worth your investment because you're going to get a lot of compliments. You're going to get a lot of people talking to you about the bag. And it's not just about that. It's it's designed to carry a certain aesthetic that not only looks cool, but also is functional from a performance perspective. Again, it's for being for the walking golfer. So you've got this kind of saddle style looking pair of different pockets. You've got one handle in the middle. You've got a handle up top around the casing, around where the, you know, the entry for your club so that you can pick it up and transport it pretty easily if you have to from a cart to your car or vice versa, you know, that type of transportation. There's got a nice little mesh uh, kind of cover to the dividers to the top, so that way you're not kind of nicking it. Uh, if it were kind of a leather looking thing, maybe it wouldn't look as good. It might, might get messed up over time. So far this hasn't been. And again, that's all great for a walking golfer. I, I really like the straps on these bags because they have advanced from what I remember like my first ping hoofer looking like when I got a double strap when you had to buy one separately and then install it yourself with the different uh, straps and like the, the nylon straps and it was a huge pain in the butt. Well now we've got a system where you have four different little clicks and you just po put them in the posts and you're done. Or you can take them out and you can go to the single strap just as easily. The straps are nice and big. The double strap is really nice and big, easy to adjust. I really like that about it. Obviously, I'm a bigger guy, broader shoulders. I, I like that. It's almost too big. I mean, I like it a little tighter, but if you're a really big dude, you can still get this thing over your shoulders and it doesn't feel like you're wearing like a children's backpack or like doing a fat guy in a little coat dance. You can You can really do this and carry it well, and I like that about it. It also kind of has a nice little rest pad, uh, depending on how you carry it, but it, you kind of rest along your back. It provides a little airflow, but also a nice place to rest on your hip or on your back, depending on how you wear it. That's a nice feature to it. Again, it does everything that it says it's going to do to perform for a walking golfer. It's a light bag. It doesn't allow you to tempt yourself by carrying too much crap <laughs> that you really don't need. It has the full length dividers, it's lightweight, it looks great. You can customize it uh, as like called an ingot or ingo. Uh, but it's a little kind of square size thing, maybe an inch by an inch. And you can get your name on it or your club logo on it or some other kind of logo on it. You can pull it out with a little metal, uh, magnetic metal tool and you can switch it in and out. It looks really sharp, it's a nice touch. Um, obviously the more customized that you make it, you're not going to be able to return it, but at least if you get that piece on it, you can get your initials again, club logo, those types of things on it, switch it out as you need. And there's some component of personalization to it. But there's also just kind of, again, as I mentioned, uh, an aura about the bag. Uh, I don't really know how to describe it better, but I think that kind of like leather, but not really leather, they call it touring fabric at Stitch really does contribute to that look. I have the kind of the color block style. So I have the color block of white on the pockets and then I've got blue as the base. It stands out really well. I feel like a lot of bags are over designed from the aesthetic standpoint where it looks like there's just a ton of stuff going on that doesn't need to be going on there. It looks like a golf, it looks like a manufactured golf bag versus Stitch does a really good job of maintaining the aesthetic that it looks like a a golf bag that was designed, I hate to use the word artisan, but that kind of style where it was all hand stitched and it was all made by hand and, and all that type of stuff. And again, it's not, I mean, it's manufactured, but it maintains that look. And I, I think they've done a good job of staying true to that over the years as they've introduced different styles, different ideas about it. They've got different colors. They're one just solid color, one with like a camo influence, one with an American style influence. There are a lot of different ways to get this bag that, that fits your style and still, again, maintain that original aesthetic with the bag. I come back to this point about this bag because it really was the conundrum for me is, do I slam it because it doesn't fit all the crap that I put in there? And the end of the day, no, I'm not. I really like this bag, but if you are someone who likes to ride in a cart a lot 
or travels a lot, plays on a lot of tournaments, is someone who needs more storage in a bag, I think you, you you can use this as maybe your everyday walking bag, but for those particular opportunities to play golf, you need a different bag. Uh, the, the entryway, the, the zipper on both the pockets is very good. It's very secure. It, it's, it's basically, I mean, it's not waterproof, but it's going to keep the elements out. But it's also the entries are kind of tight. So you, you kind of have to break the bag in a little bit. And I don't know how long that's going to take. But there are a lot of bags out there when you open up the zipper, I mean, it just flies open. And you just shove all your crap in there and that's what it's designed to do. This is not designed to do that. The bag has, the, the pockets have plenty of storage in them. But the entryway isn't designed to just fly open and you put all your stuff in it and zipper it. It's meant to kind of stay that way. Almost like a messenger bag style. And that's on both of them. So that means you can't just rip it open, throw crap in there. You've got to be purposeful about what you put into the bag. But that means you put in what matters, which you know you can, can get out easily. And that means you're carrying around much less of an overall load. It means you're going to carry a bag that's under 15 pounds, under 10 pounds probably in a lot of cases. And that's really what you need as a walking golfer. You don't need to be dragging around something that's 20 pounds or anything like that. That, that is not what you need to be doing day to day. And so from a, an enforcement standpoint, from a, uh, making you think about how you carry stuff in your bag standpoint, kind of helpful actually to have the SL2. Again, come back to the price point. It's $388. And these things sell out really quickly when they come in. So Stitch gets a wave of them. They put them up for sale on the website. They go away pretty quickly. Uh, right now, it seems like based on what I looked at before filming this review, they're fulfilling in three to five days. So that's good. They're probably getting some shipments in and a backlog that I know a lot of manufacturers have faced due to the pandemic and just getting ships in from overseas with containers. I think that's maybe starting to rectify themselves for Stitch. So that's good for the holiday season coming up if you're interested in this bag. For a lot of people, this is a, a big investment. Spending $400 on a golf bag just is. A lot of people feel comfortable spending in the $150 to $225, $250 range. So thinking about $400 is, uh, is a step up. And I understand that. But if you're interested in this kind of bag, know that it's really high performing. It's made with quality materials. It is designed to last a long time. It's not designed to be one of those bags you own for two or three years. It gets all tattered and you have to get rid of it. This is designed to be a bag you can hold for five, seven, nine years, whatever it needs to be. But again, it is geared specifically toward the walking golfer. And that means you got to know what you're getting into for it. So hopefully this review is helpful in letting you know what the pros and cons are of this bag. Overall speaking, I think this is a great bag. It just has certain limitations for it that if you're the kind of person like me who carries a lot of junk in their bag, you may need to rethink about how you use it, or you may have to decide to have a secondary bag for those times when you just need to carry a whole lot of stuff with you in your golf bag. But if you're someone who's a minimalist, if you're someone who wants to kind of have that aesthetic of a bag that is gonna draw attention, is gonna get compliments, and it's gonna allow you to do all the things you wanna do as a walking golfer without all the temptations to have stuff that just kinda of weighs you down. This is a fantastic golf bag. Stitch did a really good job. I'm Ryan Balaji saying thanks for watching. We will see you next time.